Groups exclusion. TestNG allows you to include groups as well as exclude them. In the earlier video we have seen how to include the groups. You can ignore a group by using the exclude tag. For example, it is quite usual to have tests that temporarily break because of a recent change and you don't have time to fix the breakage yet. However, you do want to have clean runs of your functional tests. So you need to deactivate these tests but keep in mind they will need to be reactivated. Let's see a practical example on this. I have a project test ng project under that I have two test cases in the package software testing material. The test case one I have taken a group smoke test and functional test whereas in the test case two I took the group as functional test. Let's see the testng.xml file. In the groups tag, now I am about to exclude a group name called smoke test. So I am taking a exclude tag and giving the name as smoke test. Before executing this, let me comment the group name once and see the output, how it works. So if I run the testng.xml file now, in the console output you can see logged in successful and mail sent which is from the test case 1 from the method login test and the test case 2 from the method compose mail. Now going to the testng.xml file, now I am uncommenting the exclude tag and save the testng.file and run the testng.xml file. In the console output you can see just mail sent which is from test case 2. Why because I have excluded the smoke test group which is related to the test case 1.java file. 